Park. But it's a real story. Hey! What's good? <laughs> What's good, my G? Mr. Incredible. So this is how, so what do boss. legends do? What do legends do during uh, lockdown? Do I even know I need to ask you that question? You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to Let ask you that question. Bless Yo, you. Did, Bless you, you know that you know this is one of our last few times of being mm-hmm. friendly because once that money comes through, it's war. <laughs> nah, bro, it's always been like this on the link up. It's never changed. It's <laughs> yeah, never bro. changed, big bro. Yeah, What's appreciate. I want to. I, I want to tell a story about you, right? Okay. And then I, I'll play the record. I know you are busy. You know, I, I appreciate you coming through. I hit no, you up last it's, it's M. It's M. You need to always find time. Trust me. <laughs> Bless King. I remember that. Um, so. One day call and I were coming up around the same time, right? And um, this is right before one day call did the song with uh, R2Bs. Yeah. Right, or, but right before the song came out. So we're coming up around the same time. Like it's always him and I at the back, you know, the band and all these guys are the big artists. We'll be sitting in the corner, like, and one time he came back. You know, I, I don't know if people know how like funny and expressive one day is. Yes. One day was like, yo, M, I just met the guy. So this is 2008, 2008, maybe 2009. He's like, I just met the guy. This guy, man. Am I? Let me tell you. I, blah, 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 he was on stage. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the f- Who the fuck is this guy he's talking about? He's like, yo, this guy's name is Sako there. So you always hear this as an MC. I'm sure you've had this where yeah. every guy that comes up is the next guy. True. Right? True. <laughs> I go to Ghana for the Foresight Music Awards. Mm. Right? And I remember I'm sitting, I'm sitting there. Shout out to uh, Joey 234, 233 Connect, I think it is. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Joe. I'm sitting there, and you came up and you did a performance where you brought a pooping on stage, mm. bro. I like I have goosebumps <laughs> thinking about that shit. Bro. You brought yes, a pooping on stage, came out with a Bible, you started rapping, and and since then, like, you know, I'm from a country where we have we have so many dope artists that it's hard for a rapper to be True. to be at the top. And there are a few guys that have done it. I think Olamide, unquestionably, has been the biggest artist numerous years in the country. Mm. Uh, files, I think it's somebody else, Ice Prince, you know, but that was always, that was always a dream of mine to be like the top guy in a year, to win album the year, but now I'm talking to the guy that, how many years now? <laughs> how many years you, um, you held the whole, the whole country down? Yeah, I think it's been a, de- a decade, it's been a decade, yeah, <laughs> bro, it's been a decade. Respect, man. It's crazy. Respect, respect. But you've done you've done a lot, bro. Big boy, you've really done a lot, you know, from far. As you said, that's that's something that as rappers we think about a lot, especially in Africa, where the major sound is Afrobeat, which is like commercial, super commercial music. And people who are like watching this right now, they, they don't know that as rappers, as much as we like the big records, right? The songs that you're playing, I know this is like deep to your heart. This is this is what you want to do each and every like second. Yeah. But Commercially, you know, we have this Afrobeat big records. They are leading. When you take the Wiz, David, they would do the hooks that it would take us, you know, forever to come out. Not, not, not to shake, but yeah, they are not songs that will come to us naturally. Yeah, you know. So absolutely. to be an MC, to go toe to toe with them, you really need to strap up. It's, it's, it's a war out there. You know. So sometimes we cheat the game a little bit. We can go into their world, come back, and give them the real rap. You know, because we have fans who really want to listen to rap. And trust me. My following don't really like my commercial music. They don't, you know. Let me, let me ask you a question. Like, yeah. So I have a few, uh, I want to call them friends. So mm. so this is my 13th year since my first single came out, right? Wow. And 13 years, listen, listen, at the end of the year, if they do a hip hop list, I think that I'll be one of the top artists. It would mean that in three decades, I've been a top rapper in the, in the decade Proceeding in the teens, in the 20s, and now going into the 2020s, right? Yeah. Being a top rapper in Nigeria. And I put out two projects that are dear to my heart. This guy writes an article saying that uh, he had a quote where he said, I'm taking hip hop back to the dark ages. Like, I'm like, am I actually taking hip hop back? (laughs) Do you, do you, do you get that in, do you get that in, um, in, in Ghana? Like, where, the media sometimes are putting that pressure on you where it's like you know you, you damned if you do damned if you don't if you, if you yeah. do the hip-hop record they're hating on you if you do the commercial record they're hating on you yeah it's, it's always like that but from from scratch i just develop a strategy to be able to sustain what i'm doing in this industry like what i read i, I really don't care it's, it's about what i feel 
you know so if i feel like it i'm going to do it and i've not been proven wrong for a long time so it's going to be very hard for uh, an article to change my my view on how i see things like it, like two days ago i started with the whole bring back azonto thing when you say azonto sakori comes in mind but if you really look at the sounds of that for azonto it's not past three or four it's just huge records and then anybody else that want to follow up on that journey can also yeah. go and do it but if you leave sakori on a daily basis i just want to rap and they know it well, when it comes to rap i'll go in so you could do this and do that anybody who just want to push you on their path what they feel like am i supposed to do is going to put out put out an article but i know how you are how strong you've been doing this and you know what you stand for bro like we don't care i don't even see that article i will not even read that and take that serious you know so i, I mean, don't just, think anybody should care yeah it's crazy it's crazy to me that um i i say that i, I say that not for me like i don't care i make music yeah i said it in a song with whp god rest his soul legend i said i make music for me i don't comply but i think you know you highlighted the, the young rappers that are listening to us have this conversation you know and uh, i think that as an artist you can never bank on what's going to happen you can't you can't tell mm -mm. but at least if you do your if you do what your heart tells you to do you know at least you can walk away from the game no matter what happens sure. you know i gave it my own I want to play the record we did together, but I want to tell you my favorite verse of yours. Okay. My favorite verse of yours is a freestyle that cool. that you did for. It's about the black girl and loving herself and. Oh yeah. Dog it was for BET, right? <laughs> yeah, BET. Yo, is it on YouTube? I think so. Yeah. It yo, should I gotta be. find that shit right now. That <laughs> shit. Yo, yo, yo. But you know, at the same time, you came to the crib. I was in the state of mind, right? Yo, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. When you came to the crib, I had, I was, I'm still in that that frame of mind, and I'm trying to yeah. like get like a whole project about that. So, yeah. that was I, I want to come out to Ghana to work. So, yeah, when I come, I hit you up. I hit you up. So, but you know, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the states. You know. Oh really? Yeah. yeah so this I'm thing is. Forward to go back. So this thing is uh, over. Yes. So who's who's. Hello. You see, Nigeria, my country, has uh, uh, decided to. Uh, <laughs> they paid you a visit, huh? You know, <laughs> bro, this is a terrible moment for Nigeria versus Ghana. This is a terrible right now. It's a terrible. It's a terrible oh, moment. Nigeria, my people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let me play. You know, I, what's that? I what's said... that freestyle called? What's, what's it uh, called? I, um. I don't know how to name that, but I know it's BET, the BET Cypher. I don't think it's, uh, yeah. No, but BT I think it was Cypher. just you. Was it? Were you with anybody else? Yes, I was with um, Kalash. I think he started, and then I came in. But oh, I think yeah, people, yeah, that's true. I think what happened? I saw, it on Twitter. Cut I saw it on Twitter. I saw on Twitter. Cut out your part. Yeah, I'll, I'll find it. I'll yeah. find out. Play after this, bro. Respect. Thank you for thank you for darling and God bless you, my G. Bless you. This is Millionaire Champagne. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.